we're gonna find a place on the street for spicy Chinese food. So I found a place, we're gonna check it out and see how it is, but based on the pictures, it looks really nice. So let's check it out. I think they just opened, so we're here for lunch. Love the vibe. Okay, good. So, we do have some English. What about some pork blood? What's that? Pork blood. Pork? Blood. Blood? Yeah. Okay, maybe not that uh, adventurous today. I don't think I'm gonna be that adventurous today guys because we do have a wedding tomorrow and I don't want to get any sort of upset stomach if I try something that I'm not used to but it smells really good in here and I'm sure we'll find something that we like we like spicy Chinese food not the sweet type so we're gonna check out the menu and be right back they gave us green tea some green tea complimentary and warm. So we're looking at the menu here and it's definitely not what we would normally see on a menu where we live. Um, it's very adventurous, very authentic. So stuff like pork, blood, pork kidney, intestine, um, beef throat, I think there's one right there. And then on this side, there's like rabbit meat, um, pork ears, so things that I probably will not try ever, but you know, maybe one day I'll be adventurous enough to try. Just get a few drinks in me. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna keep on checking out the menu and then once we figure out what we want, we will order and then when the food comes out, we will taste test with you guys. All right, be right back. Good tea. <laughs> so we just ordered our food. We just got, you know, the basic, simple stuff that we know of. We didn't really go adventurous with the, with the cuisine here. The uh, server was really nice enough to explain what they were, and so we liked it. Can't wait to try it out. <laughs> really? How's that ice with the chopstick? Good. Is it just me or does everyone like to have Coke when they eat Chinese food? It's like a must for me. <laughs> okay guys, we just got our food. So this is the spicy dumpling and chili oil. We've got the Szechuan bacon fried rice here with like the bacon, Chinese bacon. We've got garlic, uh, sauteed pea tips and garlic. And then we've got the pork belly with chilies um, and a garlic sauce. And of course, the chili oil in the middle. So let's dig in. So I made myself a little plate. I'm gonna add some chili oil all over, guys. I didn't even try how spicy it is, so I don't even know if this is gonna be more spicy, but that looks so good and then I'll get the dumplings in a bit. Let's try this out first. How is it, Bobby? It's good. Yeah? Is it spicy? Um, yeah. Yeah? My mouth is watering. Mmm. Definitely has a wok taste. Mm -hmm. So this is Szechuan style pork belly, and it has um, sliced jalapenos. That's really good. I like how they 
made it so thin because it's really easy to chew and eat up. This is, um, they didn't have kung fu, and, like they didn't have it in season. It's um, water spinach. So this is the next best thing. It's um, snow peas or pea tips. That's good. I'll definitely eat greens if it tastes like this. <laughs> Skills. I already told you I'm not very good at it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. They didn't give us any fork. And I don't want to ask because I don't want to be rude. But I'm going to pick this up somehow. <laughs> it's very slippery because of the oil. or And also because I'm like not a chopstick person. Alright, we've got it. Let me show you now. Mm. That's a good dumpling. I need more. Mm hmm. I would totally come for that again. It's good. Dumpling is good. Mm -hmm. Bowl. So whoever was watching this, I told them, I was like, I'm cringing just watching myself use chopsticks. So, <laughs> so sorry if I'm not doing it the right way. But as long as I'm picking up my food with it. <laughs> so we couldn't do a lot as far as like touristy things. They had some whale watching um, packages and then also some other packages like on the mountainside and seaside. But to do that, you have to reserve at least a few days early. And the next available time slot is the day that we leave. So unfortunately, we can't do anything in that sort of element which is kind of sad because I really wanted to do whale watching that would have been fun because we did dolphin watching in Sri Lanka um, maybe next time though so right now I think this is just really just us exploring and trying different foods here um, mostly the things that we can't get fresh back home um, so definitely the sushi tonight I heard Vancouver has really good fresh fish and seafood uh, so sushi is definitely one of my faves so we're gonna try that tonight and then just go explore downtown Vancouver. So I'm gonna finish up eating and then probably head back to the hotel for just a little bit of R&R uh, &R and then head to the city. Cheers guys. Four points by Sheraton. This is where we're gonna be staying for the next few days. over here but it's called the worldwide cafe so check that out maybe later I don't know if we'll actually go there because we want to try some really um, authentic food here in this area so probably gonna skip that but yeah this is the first floor and we're gonna go in now to the elevator so 
we are on the third floor. We are 321. So I think this is like mostly for business. Um, I saw a lot of people traveling for work, I assume because they all had briefcases. But yeah, this is our room. Let's go inside. Pick this place out. Good job. <laughs> Looks like I'm hosting a private party here, guys, so we can't go in. <laughs> Otherwise, we totally would have gone in because this vibe is totally me, too. It's really nice. It's got that villa vibe up to the bar. But yeah, it's closed for the day. Looks like I booked it already for a party. <laughs> Walking off our sushi dinner. Just really appreciating downtown right now. It's very nice. Kind of reminds me of Melbourne um, in that downtown area. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna take a walk, check everything out, and get an Uber pretty soon. Hey guys, so we just got back into the room and we're kind of tired already. We've been eating all day and it is quite chilly outside, especially for, for us coming from a tropical climate to now a little bit of a colder climate. So we definitely want to rest up before tomorrow. We have a long day tomorrow, a fun filled day, starting with our friend getting married, wedding ceremony in the morning and followed by a reception in the evening. You guys are gonna probably laugh at me trying to wear a sari for the first time by myself. I have not worn a sari in about 10 years. I could count probably on one hand how many times I've worn a sari, so this is going to be pretty comical. <laughs> but yeah, so get ready with us tomorrow, go to the wedding, have some fun, and until then, we're gonna head off to sleep and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. The next day, just had a shower, feel so refreshed, but I need to show you my makeup that I got. I actually had to get all new makeup for this trip uh, real quickly, and then when I get ready, we'll do how I get ready with the makeup. Let me show you. This is my <laughs> makeup bag. I didn't have time to go and get a cosmetic bag before I left, but I did go to the mall. I went to the MAC um, shop and got basically all new makeup. Um, it looks like a lot because it is. Um, it's everyday makeup, new brushes, um, but also little extra things for like glam, especially since I'm going for a wedding. Um, so I want to look extra cute. So let me show you what I got. All right, so I got the Prep and Prime, uh, which is just the moisturizer that I put before my makeup. The um, Prep and Prime um, spray that you put after you uh, put on your makeup and some people would it before. I've got the water weight foundation. This stuff is really, really good and it lasts like 24 hours and beyond. Um, the Pro Long Wear Concealer. 
the powder form of the foundation, but this I like to use when I'm working, um, like everyday use, because it works just as well as the liquid foundation. Um, this is a highlighter. It's a bronzer, but it works as my highlighter because my skin is so dark um, and it has that nice golden brown shimmer. And then this is the only non-MAC product that I have. It is the Bobbi Brown Concealer Stick. It's actually a foundation stick, but for my skin, uh, the um, this works as a concealer stick too, because I like to snatch my nose and make it look smaller with that. <laughs> Next, we have the MAC um, Magic Extensions Eyelash, I'm sorry, Mascara, because this girl does not have eyelashes, but this definitely brings out the volume, like Pazam. Um, the eyeliner and then two sets of eyeshadows so the shimmery kind and like this like neutral tone like brownish one that I use every day but then the gold one also you can use every day but it gives me a little bit of that pop of color but super basic as well next I've got the blush over here it's kind of like a darker red um, but I like something a little more subtle on my face and very I put very little bit on um, what else this is the eyebrow uh, pencil. And then we've got this lip color here. It's like a cranberry color, which, so we have this here. It's a cranberry um, red, which I really like on my lips. And then we've got this lip glass here. Um, and it has, it's like a blush pink color. And then lastly are my brushes. So we've got the foundation brush, we've got the concealer brush, we've got a contour brush, we've got an eyeshadow brush, and then we've got the blush brush. So that is what I brought. This is basically my makeup that I'm going to be using for the look uh, for the ceremonies today. And yeah, um, you guys can check out the prices for each of these online. It was a little bit of a hefty receipt, <laughs> but I will tell you, MAC does do a good job with this a little bit goes a long way, you guys. These products literally last me for like a few years. Um, I just really needed new products because as you can see, my skin has changed a little bit. You can see my tan line right here. So this was my color before and then after Sri Lanka, I went a little bit darker. But hey, embrace your skin tone. Don't fall for these lightning skin cream gimmicks. I've said this before in my other vlogs, like I totally embrace when I get tan, when I get dark. Girls, love your skin and just embrace what you have. But I just needed new makeup to really, you know, to make everything look blended in with my new skin complexion here. So we are on the way to the church for our friend's wedding. I'm not gonna take the GoPro. I really wanna make this intimate for them. We'll see you at the church. So we just got back to the hotel. I changed back into my PJs. I need to get ready for the reception. I have about two hours, I think, um, until the next event. And we're gonna take you along with us. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so here's my makeup routine. So I start off with primer and I'm getting that really in there. And I then put on the setting spray before I put on my foundation. This foundation is really good. It does a lot of great coverage um, and I love MAC products for foundation especially. Then we're gonna go in with the concealer and I have that concealer stick and the brush um, and I'm just putting it wherever. I'm not a makeup artist so I really don't know what I'm doing but I did get some tips when I was at the MAC counter with the specialist so just kind of following their lead um, when they were doing this for me at the shop little dance there. Then I'm going in with the powder. This is optional, but I do like it because it has that matte finish over the foundation. And I definitely need coverage today because it is going to be a long day and I want a full face coverage for the full day. Then I'm going in with the Bobbi Brown stick. This is the only non-MAC product that I have. Um, again, 
don't really know what I'm doing, but um, <clears throat> thanks to TikTok and YouTube for helping me out there. Uh, but yeah, just kind of putting it into all my little zone areas and then using the brush to blend it all out. So this is going to help with the contouring. Um, I love a snatched nose because I do not want to get a nose job, <laughs> but this definitely does the trick here. Now I'm going in with the blush. This is really, really subtle. Um, the blush is kind of the darky rose pink. And then after that, I'm going in with the bronzer highlighter, uh, just putting it again around my nose and my cheekbones to give it a little bit of that shiny shine that I really, really like. Next is the eyeshadow. It is the shimmery gold eyeshadow. I love this. It's kind of something that I have a go-to of, of any kind of gold tones. Next is the eyeliner. This is something that I've practiced for years and I think I've got it down by now. Now we're going in with the mascara. Uh, this is to increase volume. Oh my gosh, good luck here, girl. I am putting on the fake lashes. This is something that, again, I have trouble with and I hate doing this part. My eyes water, it's just a struggle all the time. <laughs> As you can see, there it goes. The waterworks, it's right there. <laughs> Next is the brow pencil, just filling in my brows. Finishing it off with some setting spray, and then, last but not least, the lips. It's a cranberry red lipstick, one of my go-tos, and voila, that's the makeup look. That was my makeup um, get ready with me. I'm going to now get on my sari. I need help from a friend <laughs> um but once i get that on i'm gonna put my jacket on and then probably do a little more touch up here with the foundation once i get the jacket on and then i'll show you the final look be back soon testimony today for us additional trump eyes why has had to go today oh my gosh my mom's gonna be so proud nice <laughs> What's up? Congratulations, Papa. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs>
Thanks for watching everyone. And as always, cook with love, live to eat, and enjoy. Until next time. Aibo on.